And so the name of Silveira, the name of this town where we are now, is called Silveira, comes from the wild blackberry plant. Until the 19th century, this was the last place where local people would live, as we walk between the vineyards, was not done by the rich families of Fayal, but by local people who would come to work either from this part of the island that we just left. And so we always see these stone walls. Here at this point, you will see uh, how it was a typical landscape until the 19th century. So all the properties that you will see around here, they were all vineyards that were owned by one single family. Until the 19th century, each family would have a big property. People would come from the south for 50 kilometers until this point here by the coastline. They would make the fire. And so a little boat from Fayal would come to take people either to see a doctor or to the jail if it was needed.
to the 19th century, the only manor house that is here was the building that you will see here on my right side, the tidal well. The next building was the warehouse where the barrels of wine were kept. And on the left side, you will see a distillery that is still being used now in this building. On my left side, the Discord Chimneys is a community distillery, so anyone on the island who wants can come here and make their own brandy. A lot of people still do the fake brand, or even with the wine that they didn't drink, if, they didn't, if people don't drink all the wine of the day before, you can also steal it and make some more brandy. In here we have the bridge that is one more coastal, typical area of wine production. It's not very close to where you are. It's about 50 kilometers away, but it's also done on this way. have a, a small tasting of the wines we're producing here in the Adega Abraca. This is a family business. We have um, 
more than a, a production of wine. We have a very small production of wine. You tasting what we produce and having the chance to see a little bit how things used to be in the old days. So it's um, a wine that represents the new era of wines that we're having now in the island, the new generation. Um, but never forgetting that these white grapes were the ones actually representing all the history. So the Arinto dos Açores. This is why we had the nomination of UNESCO, considering the nice landscape of stone corals that we have. So it's in fact our... Uh, a uh, very representative wine from, from Pico. So this wine was aged for six years in oak barrel. That's why we get all this richness on it, uh, a lot of the flavors uh, from all the wines that through times, all the batches that through I can take you uh, for tomorrow for you, because my mom she has at home these plants for you to smell. Looks like mint, but with smaller leaves. They're not so big as a normal mint. This wine was made, and now, uh, 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 along with all the new generation of wines we're having, this wine, it, it's always associated, of course, because it's in fact the one that uh, uh, made everything happen. This is why we have wine tourism. here and they were very important on the education of people. Nowadays it's a public building owned by the government. When all the religious artists they were